Hey y'all, what's up with it, man? It's your boy. So, um, real quick, my bad, I'm trying to, trying to make it. All right, y'all, so what's up with it, man? It's your boy. And um, before we even get started, I want to say, man, uh, we got a lot of big real estate, big real estate announcements coming soon, so definitely stay tuned. It will benefit the culture, so it'll be in your best interest. You follow me? All right, so let's get on the topic real quick, man. So are we still out here, you know what I'm saying, pushing the narrative that men and women are equal? Fellas, ladies, anybody? My bad, you know, I'm driving. But yeah, so we still pushing the idea that men and women are equal. And I just want to respectfully ask why. Because we're not. We're not. We're not equal. And I want to touch on both genders, men and women. You know, um, ladies, y'all have been pushing this for a long time. Y'all have been pushing this narrative for a long time and all you have done in the process for the majority is create wedges in between the black man and the black woman. Because number one, isn't it funny when a man gets money, he takes pride in doing for others. We know deep down inside is our job to provide for somebody, even if it's a little bit or a lot, even to the confused men out there. You know what I'm saying? Even to the men who feel like they ain't got no business you know, leading the house, they believe in 50-50, the man still has it in him to do for somebody, his kids, his family, his mom, his cousins, anybody. But ain't it funny that when a woman gets money, she says that she doesn't need the man anymore. It's nonsense. Come on by Maserati. Nice little Maserati right there, what it do? All right, yeah, man, so, so the whole thing about it is when a woman gets money, she don't need she, she don't need us no more. And it's sad because you've reduced the man down to a to a paycheck. It's keeping it real with you. Ladies, y'all been pushing this for a long time and it's detrimental. And I've been saying this for so long, but fellas, I gotta hold us accountable as well, man, because we allowed it, we bought into it. We allowed it. It's almost like we're playing tug of war. And, 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 and the more they pull, it's like, well, screw it. You want to be equal, have it. You know? You want to be equal, so darn bad, have it. No other nation of woman takes pride in not needing their men no more than the westernized black woman. That's a fact. It's just, it's the truth. African women understand the dynamic of family. Rather, if they're doctors, lawyers, dentists, business owners, entrepreneurs, investors, they understand family. Same to the Indian women. Every dentist I know is an Indian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Indian women understand family. And they're very successful, by the way. Asian women. Business women. You know what I'm saying? They're entrepreneurs. They understand family. Same to the Hispanic family. A, a Hispanic man can come over this country, come to our country illegally, stand in front of Home Depot for day labor work and will come home to a warm, cooked meal. But it's our women to where a woman feels like she don't need the man unless he's making 400,000 a year or better. If he ain't doing that, she don't need him. It's a bad dynamic and it doesn't work. And again, we're not equal. And I try to tell people, and I've been saying it for so long, we're not equal, we're perfectly different. God designed men to need our women and God designed women to need us. The one thing, the one thing that we as a community that we are losing in, and we know the reasons why, but we're not going to continue to uh, cry with spilled milk. What we are losing in is the dynamic of the family. And these initiatives continue to tear us apart. If you are running around as a woman yelling, you independent, you don't need nobody, shame on you. Because you wasn't designed for that. And how selfish of you to say you don't need a man, but your kids do. It's so selfish. You're depriving children of fathers and male leadership all because of how you feel about the man or, by, uh, or, or about the black man. And it's nonsense. Black men... We have dropped the ball in many ways, but in the same sentence, we're, you know what I'm saying, we spinning the block. We're coming back around like, nah, man, we was wrong. 
Let's step up, let's fix it. One thing about us, one thing about black men that we, I would give us credit for for forever is the fact that we do believe in looking in the mirror. We will hold each other accountable. We will hold each other accountable, period. We will. And if what somebody is doing is whack, somebody beside him gonna let him know. If he's, you know what I'm saying, if he's around somebody, of, you know what I'm saying, of standards and quality, he will know. He's gonna have to be, you know, it's gonna be forced for that black man to have to either change behavior or to move around. He will know. You can't just hang around me and you a deadbeat father. I, I, that, that doesn't make sense. So, anywho, closing out, man. Black men and black women, we are not equal at all. We're perfectly different. We're yin and we're yang. This feminist movement, this pro-woman movement, this I don't need a man movement is continuing to tear our families apart. Black women, if you are educated, quit letting your finances and your education think that you a man, you're not. You will never be a man. God designed you to need one, not be one. That's a fact. Come on now, let's tighten up.